I come from a family where my mother was a very strong Catholic. When I was young, I was enrolled in the Flower Girls. It's a group that dances in the church. And from then, I have continued singing in the church. I think what I like most about church is the work that I do singing for God. The church in Zambia develops very fast. No sooner than you build a church than it becomes too small. The church is growing, but also we are very happy to see the participation of the late in the life of the church. Especially since Vatican Council proof that gives us the idea that we are all called to evangelize. We are all called to be part of this family of life and to contribute as much as we are able to. Welcome to Zambia's Catholic Church, home to three million parishioners which is about 25% of the country's population of 12 million, and one-third of the country's Christians, who number 9.6 million. From the time of the country's first Catholic missionaries in 1891, Zambian Catholics continue with a plan for achieving God's grace, one that embraces the whole person, spiritually, socially, and economically. We have followed the footsteps of the missionaries. They evangelized the whole human being. They catechized, gave instruction, taught the doctrine of the church, and so established centers for formation in order to have a catechist, to have priests and religious local ones. But at the same time, they went into development so in our evangelizing mission, we have identified three priorities. First priority, education. Second priority is health. The third priority is agriculture. Let us train, educate, and give opportunities for growth, spiritually, morally, socially. The growth of the faith in Zambia can be seen in several ways. So many young people that are training as seminarians. We have so many people that are working as catechists, full-time lay people that have a vocation to save the community. We have several people that are joining other congregations of religious men and women. Congregations that came from Canada, from Poland, from America, from everywhere. They have been in Zambia for a long time. They are becoming more and more Zambian. And that's a sign that these congregations are not foreign to us anymore. Here we are visiting a parish in the suburbs of the nation's capital, Lusaka. The parish is new, an offshoot of another parish in the neighborhood, and it's growing fast, thanks to the support of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. There is a new parish that is coming up. That project is supported by the Pontifical Mission Society of the Propagation of Faith. It's an incomplete structure, but people opted to start using that facility even if it's incomplete. People do not have so much in terms of material possession, material possibilities, but are so much involved into the life of the church. Tendere is a very big community with a lot of Christians, Catholics. And for the past two or so years, the church that we are praying in, that's Mary Queen of Peace Parish, it was full to capacity to such an extent that it was overflowing. And we thought of um, having an initiative to build yet another church uh, called Kalikiliki. The word Kalikiliki means hard work hard labor because most of the people in that area are in the informal sector. They don't have a full-time job. Life is very hard to make ends meet. But the spiritual life of the people is amazing. My faith assists me so much. 
Because even when I have problems, I kneel down to pray to God, and all the time God responds to my prayers. And even when I have problems, I really believe that God is there, and He has assisted me in my life. I'm always amazed by the joy, by the dance, by the singing. And I look at them, I say, they have so many problems, they may have no food, they may have poor infrastructure in terms of health and education, but we'll be dancing and celebrating. And I always say, this is the secret of God. 